Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make this little blankie um, uh, lovey, I guess that's what they call them. It's your little uh, granny square and then your little amiguri rabbit. Um, I just did this because I thought it would be great for Easter time. Um, this then is just a basic granny square on the bottom here as you can see. And then after that we will work the little head and the arms and the ears. This a same pattern, you're going to be using the same pattern for the granny square, the head and the arms for all of the other little loveys I'm going to be making. The only thing that's going to be changing are the ears and for the owl you won't make the hands because we'll make little wings. So um, you can use any color you like. I used a medium waist, uh, worsted weight yarn, super saver. Um, even though this was white, the pink was the same brand. The pink was a little bit lighter, so it did look a little bit softer. So here it is. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. This is really fun. I know some of you are afraid to do the little dolls, the little amiguris. Don't be afraid. I know you can do them. Once you do them, you're going to get hooked. Um, and I know since this one uses a smaller, we're using a J size hook for here. This one uses a smaller hook. It uses a size F, or you could use an E if you want it even smaller. So what I do with these, because they can be very uncomfortable to hold, because can you imagine, it starts cramping up your hands. So what I've done is that I wrap, I don't know if you can see them under here, but maybe you could see it under there. I wrap rubber band around there, and then I slide a pencil grip, you know the little pencil jellies that you get from the store. They have some of these for crochet hooks, but the smaller hooks don't seem to fit on there. They slide off, so that's why I, I rolled up the rubber band on there first, and then I slide this on. And having this fat thing makes a huge difference because then now you're holding this big, bigger piece, which is cushiony and soft. It has gateway. Instead of holding this tiny little hook, which that is, uh, that kills your hands. So I know some of you don't like to do that because it hurts your hands. Do this, and you'll be able to do that and comfortably. So like I said, we're going to be making several of these. I'm going to make a little series just like I did for the little um, slippers. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. It's lots of fun. Let's get the party started. Okay, everyone, to begin your blanket, then you're just going to be using a regular um, granny square. This other one I had done in the cotton yarn. But I'm going to um, use the acrylic, um, the super saver. You can use whatever worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using a size J hook, which is a size 10. And to begin, then I'm just going to go ahead and make a granny square. I have a tutorial on how to do a granny square if you want to watch that or if, instead. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, do my loop and then I'm going to make four chains. Okay, if you want to do it with the magic circle, you can also. So here I'm going to do four. One, two, three, and four. After my fourth chain, I'm just going to slip stitch, put my hook into the first chain here, right there, and I'm going to pull my yarn through. I'm just going to slip stitch through there, okay? I'm going to hide that tail as I go along. To go up to do my granny square, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and this counts as one double crochet. Now I'm going to do two double crochets into the circle because I'm going to have clusters of three double crochets. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to try to hide that tail as I go along. So here's my first double crochet. And then my second. Remember to do your double crochet. You yarn over, which means wrapping your yarn over your hook. You go into your that circle there. Then you're going to pull through two and then the second two. So that's your first little cluster. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three and this is going to form our first corner we're going to do another set of three double crochets in there because we're going to have another little cluster one two and three and we need to have four of these so here I, I have two so I'm going to need two more so once again I'm going to chain three one two and three pull out my yarn go back into that center and see my yarn is all getting buried in there so that's two and three chain three more again see that's 
one, two, and three. So now I need one more. Chain three. One, two, and three. This is my last little grouping of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to slip stitch this into the third chain, my, my turning chain. One, two, three. I'm going to slip stitch it into there. Okay? If you want to change the yarn at every row, you can do that. I'm going to move over. I need to start my next um, plus my next set grouping here inside the corner. So some people cut the yarn every time. That's a lot of work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slip stitch over the next two st stitches. So I'm just going here. One and two. That's just going to move me over to the space I need to be on without adding height. And then once again, I'm going to slip stitch into here. I'm going to do two rows each, each color and then change after that. So now that I slip stitch my three stitches, one, two, and then into this, I'm inside the right space now. I can do my three chains. That will count as my first double crochet. I'm in the corner now here. So now I'm going to do two more double crochets. One and two. Now that I'm in that corner, now I have to make my corner that it's with three chains. One, two, and three. And go back into the same corner and do three more double crochets in there. One two and three and we're going to make our continue working rounds on our granny square until our square measures approximately 10 inches if you want to make it bigger you can but usually that's the size they are now to work over the grouping of the three um three double crochets here excuse me to work over our grouping there over here, I'm only going to I'm going to chain one, two. I don't want that space to be too big, and then I'm going to go into my next space. Okay. So the only time we have three double du three chains is in the corner, and on top of these spaces, we'll chain two, then go into your next space and do your next three, your next uh, grouping of three double crochets. Okay. So anytime you're working here. In between, not when it's not in the corner, you're going to do two chains. When you're in the corner, then you do three chains, okay? So here, I'm back into my corner again. So I'm going to do three chains, one, two, and three, and do again my next group of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now I'm working over the top of this next grouping. So I chain two, one, two, go into my next corner, do my three double crochets, followed by three chains, and then three double crochets all in the corner. So here's one double crochet, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, and three. Go back into the same section, the same space, two and three. We're just repeating the same things for our shaping it. Chain two, one, two, and I'm coming to my last corner here. So there's one, two, and three. And remember, you could use any kind of colors or color combinations you want. This one is just for a baby girl, so I'm, that's why I was using the white and the pink. You can do any color, brown, blue, whatever color you like. And also depending on the little creature on top. So that's my last corner, so you could see how it's shaped it. So now here, I'm going to chain two to go to my next base here. And now I'm because I'm working over these, now I'm going to go into the third chain. One, two, three, here, and I'm going to slip stitch. I'm changing colors in this round, but I'm going to change it in the corner. 
So what I'm doing here, I'm going to go ahead, remember you slip stitch over till you get to your space. One, two, and then I go into my corner before, I don't, I don't want to bring out that yarn though. I'm in that corner. Now I'm going to get my pink yarn and then I lay it here. Now I'm going to pull out the pink yarn. There you go. I'm going to cut the yarn in the back, the white yarn, not the pink yarn that you just joined. I'm going to tie this off. I know some people don't like doing knots. Sorry, I do knots and my stuff never falls apart, but if you feel comfortable not doing that, that's up to you. So now I have my pink yarn added. I'm going to work these tails here to the back. I'm going to work them into my work, okay? putting the white tail to the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat what I just did. One, two, and three. And you're going to repeat this all the way, changing your colors, or you can do it all in a solid color, totally up to you, until this measures about 10 inches. So that's really the same pattern I'm going to repeat, doing three double crochets, followed by three chains, and then three double crochets in each corner. So I'm just going to show you here how it changes when we start working into these other spaces, okay? So here's three, chain three, two, three, go back in there again and do my three more double crochets. This yarn says it's the same weight, but I can feel the pink is actually lighter and it's the same brand, so what do you know, huh? Let me get that out there. It's curling a lot more when I'm pulling it out of the, and it feels lighter. So sometimes even with the brands, there's a difference just from one scheme to the next. So it's for a baby, so it shouldn't matter. So now here I'm going to trim those extra tails that are showing there. Okay. So that's my first corner. Now here. I'm going over this space here, so I'm going to chain two, one, two. When I get to the, I'm moving, see how I'm moving over those three? So now here there's an open space there without a cluster. So in here, you do, in those spaces, you do your three double crochets to fill in that space. That's the, the difference between round one and round two and the next following rounds is that you will have these spaces here and you will do your three double crochets in there. So here's my third one. See that? So now when you have that, that fills up that space. Now I'm going to chain two. One, two, go into my next corner, repeat the same way. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Go back into my corner. One, two, and three. Now I'm working over my next cluster. So there you do your two chains. One, two, which brings me over. See if I just line them up over the open space. So these open spaces will get three double crochets in there. And you will just continue this way, building your rows until your square, your granny square measures about 10 inches, okay? I'm just going to finish this round so you could see this uh, round so you could see it. And then you will build, you will do your squares 10 inches. If you want to do it a little bit longer, you can. It's totally up to you. So once I finish this one... You will continue doing your squares in the same way. Chain two, one, two, to move over my third three chain clusters into this open space, then your three double crochets. Two and three. And you will just change colors the way that I showed you how to do it. One, two, 
And like I said, if you want to do them all in one solid color or variated yarns, also look really pretty. You can change colors every round if you want, and then that way you can use up all your little scraps, uh, little balls. You know how sometimes you get little balls. <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm sorry, I'm being silly here. I'm like little balls instead of big balls. <laughs> so you would just use up those scraps of um, yarn. Gosh. And so here, I'm coming to my ends, my two, and then my last three double crochets, clusters there. Oops, here, sorry. One, two. Let me pull out some yarn, and three. Chain two, one, two. One, two, three, in the third chain, you slip stitch. Okay, so that's your next row is done, and then just to continue, guys, you want to be in in the in these um, the chain spaces here. So then I'm just gonna slip stitch once again one, two, and then into the actual space. And now I'm ready to go up and repeat my next row round. So that's how you're gonna work it. So I want you to repeat that until your square measures 10 inches. I'm going to finish my square and then I'll come back and then I'll show you how to do the edge, uh, the trim around the edge. The edge is optional, but I think it makes it look super cute. So I'll go ahead and finish my square. Go ahead and finish your squares and we'll come back and work on the edge. Okay, I've come to the end of my last row and I had 10, uh, excuse me, 10 rounds all, all together and it's about 10 inches. So here... I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain once again and now if you want to you can leave this um, your blanket just like that with just that regular edge and that's fine um, and you can go on to do the little um, the, the head of your little um, creature or if you want this is totally optional for you you could work any kind of edging that you like on the edge here um, you could either do the do one, two, this is one of the edges you could do. One, two, three, and then go back into the third chain and then do your peacock, like a little peacock stitch, and then do your two chains and attach it there. Or else what I'm gonna do on this one, once I have it there, I'm going to wrap uh, yarn over, go into the third excuse me, the second post here, see how there's one, two, three, into the second one, and I'm going to work three double crochets in there just to make a little a little shell, two, and then three, so there I have three there, okay, and then on the next post here, I'm just going to slip stitch, okay, so on each one of these little sections with your post, I'm going to be doing that, Oop, excuse me, I forgot to do my chain two here before I added. That was my last one. I forgot to do my two chains. One, two. See, and you guys didn't say anything. There you go. So now I'll do my three double crochets into the second post here. Two. And three. Okay. So over each of these... Uh, little sections you can do your three and then on the third I'm gonna just slip stitch on the third one there okay in the corner I'm going to do five double crochets so it's one two three four and five. You're only going to do five only in the corners. And this is optional, the edging, so you're just going to get the little shell like that. Then here now on the next chain there, I'm going to do my slip stitch so I could kind of shape that little shell. And then once again here on the second one, second double crochet post, I'm going to do my three double crochets. Two. Three. Do my slip stitch to the next cha chain here, chain space there. And then here I only have two chains. So for there, I'm just going to do my 
three double crochets there as well. So this is what I'm just doing all the way around, just working three double crochets. Once I have my three double crochets, I slip stitch into the next chain. And then I just repeat doing this all the way around. And then you'll have that little edge. That's totally up to you. You could leave it plain. You could work this edge or you could work another edge that you like. So here, I'm just going to repeat doing the same thing. My second chain here, my second double crochet. I'm going to be doing my three double crochets. Slip stitching into the next. So this, I want you to repeat this all the way around. If you like this edging, if not, you could do a different one. These all, this, all your spaces here are going to have three double crochets. And then this one in the corners are going to have five because we need to go all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and we'll come back and start working on the little, the little uh, character. Okay, everyone, I finished doing the edge of my little granny square. As you can see here. So it's all done and it is, does wave a little bit but that's okay because it's going to be um, our little head and the body here is going to go here, the head and the arms so it's okay. And when you do the your granny squares I would suggest that you do one of your colors. You can do, remember you could do a different color in every row if you want but at least one of the colors should be the same color probably as the head that you're going to make. The, the granny square the, and the head are the same for all of your little critters so today I'm going to be doing a bunny because it's close to Easter but the tutorial is the same the granny square and the head is the same for the owl for the lamb for the bunny the hello kitty the little lamb and then the little um, the little dolly so you'll be making them the same we're going to be switching hooks now we're gonna to have to go to a smaller hook and instead of using the size J, now I'm going to be going to a size F, which is a 5, it's point, uh, five, 3.75 millimeters. And if you prefer, you can also even do it smaller. It would be a size E, which is 4, size 4, and it's 3.5 millimeters. I'm going to be using this one because of the fact that the yarn is so thick. When I go smaller, it might be a little hard to get. To begin the head, remember the head is going to be the same and the arms for all of them except for the owl. The owl has different, um, has wings. So here you're going to make your magic circle. So this is a, the, the short end, go around, bring it to the back and then I like to hold this little piece here. And then I could grab the yarn and then I do that and stitch there, okay? It might be a little bit too wide. Don't shut it, cl cl close it till you're ready to start um, doing your um, your circle here. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go in here and do six single crochets. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Oops five and six. Once I have my six, let me count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, I am going to pull this shut, okay, and you're going to be using a, needing a stitch marker. You could use, if you don't have a stitch marker, you could use a bobby pin, a piece of uh, yarn, a different color so that you could, it could stand out and just be using the stitch marker. So that's our first round. We're going to do a magic circle, then we're going to chain one and do sing six, uh, five single crochets. It's going to be six total in there, okay? So now in here, we're not going to slip stitch like we usually do. We're going to be working in the round. So when we work in the round, we just go directly into our next stitch. I know this is a white color and hopefully you can see it. I'm going to have my stitch marker to help me keep track of where I'm at, okay? So here in my next chain, my next single crochet, so I can get it in there. I'm going to do two in each one so that I can have a total of 12. So that's my first one and I want to make sure that I put my stitch marker so I can know where my where my rounds are, okay? So there's my stitch marker. So there's one. I'm going to put a second one. So I want you to do two single crochets in each chain. You're going to have a total of 12. 4, 5, 
two in each one. When you stuff the little heads, make sure you don't overstuff them or else sometimes you can see the little, it stretches and you can see the little holes. So you want to make it nice and, I mean soft enough because you don't want it to be feel like a rock. You want it to be still soft for a baby. Oops. Okay, and my last one here. Okay, so we did two single crochets in each chain. So the first round is six single crochets. The second one is 12. Now for this one, we're going to do a pattern. So the first chain will have one single crochet and the following chain will have two. Excuse me, the first will have two, I'm sorry, the first will have two single crochets and then the next one will have one. So basically you're going to end up with 18 single crochets. So here, let me take out my stitch marker. Once I do my first single crochet, I could put the stitch marker back in because I have to keep track. That's my first one, so I'm going to do a second one in the same chain. Now for my next chain, I'm going to do one single crochet. So that is a pattern you're going to repeat. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do this and hold the camera in front of me. So now here, once again, two in the next single, next stitch. The next one after that is one. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around. Two, then one, two, one, two, one. And you're going to have a total of 18. Okay, I finished my 18 single crochets. My pattern for my next round, for round four, is going to be in the first one, I'm going to do two, double, two single crochets in the first chain. And then in the next two, I'm going to do one single crochet in the next, and then one in the next one. So it'll be two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. You're going to repeat that all the way around and you will have 24 single crochets. So here, my first chain, my first round is going to have two. Let me put my stitch marker in there and you really do need to use a stitch marker because you won't, will not be able to tell where you're at and nothing so frustrating as you're working and you have no idea how far you are. So then the next one has got one single crochet and the one after that has one single crochet. That's the pattern. So the pattern begins again. Two single crochets in the next stitch. And then the next two stitches is one. One single crochet. One single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So this is two followed by one in the, each of the next two. Two in the next chain here. Followed by one single crochet in the next chain. And then one in the chain after that. So I want you to repeat that all the way around. Two, one, one, two, one, one. Okay, I finished my last uh, single crochet. In the next row, ne the rows uh, five, six, and seven, we're just gonna be increasing one more single crochet, meaning here, I'm gonna start with two single, cro two single crochets in the first stitch, okay? Let me put my stitch marker on one. This is the one. So now instead of two single crochet, two single crochets in the next two, I'm going to do one, two, three. You're going to do one single crochet in each of the next three chains. Then the following row, you would do two single crochets and then four single crochets, one single crochet in each of the next four. So basically you're just adding one more single crochet. So here I've done my three. So once again, I do two single crochets and this is the pattern all the way around. And then on the next three, I do one single crochet, one, one, and one. And now the pattern will repeat again, two single crochets, and then one, one, and one, okay? So repeat that all the way around. So the next three, you're gonna have one in each one. So you're gonna do two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around and you should have 30 single crochets. Okay, I've come to the end of that round. So now here in my next one, I'm just gonna increase my single crochet count by one in each pattern. So here's my first stitch. Let me put my stitch marker back in there. And I'm gonna do two single crochets in my first chain. And then I'm gonna do one single crochet in each of the next four. So now instead of three, I'm gonna do one, and then the next one, two, 
the next chain three the chain after that four so that's my pattern now it's two one 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 so it's two one single one of two single crochets and then followed by four one single crochet so here's one and two on my next chain and then one single crochet in each of the next four that's the pattern the first one has two single crochets and each of the next four chains have one single crochet so that's how you're going to increase this round so go ahead and do that all the way around start with two in the first first chain and other pattern then each of the next four has one single crochet three and four so go ahead and finish your round that way okay I finished my round which is round six <clears throat> so now for the next five rounds round seven to eleven we're only going to do one single crochet in each stitch I'm going to still be using my stitch marker because I don't want to have to be counting every every stitch so here is my first one so now I'm just going to do one single crochet in every every single chain or every stitch here and it's going to start to curve a little bit on you that's okay it's supposed to do that because it's going to start taking shape of the head so for here I'm just going to continue doing five rounds of one single crochet stitch all the way around and so that would give us 36 single crochet stitches in every round so I want you to go ahead and repeat that and the same way we've been working when you get here then you just start your next round replace your stitch marker so you don't get lost so here I'm going to go ahead and finish my five rows my four, five rounds when I finish that I'll come back and we'll start decreasing to shape the head of your little um, blankie okay so go ahead and do one in each single crochet you do one single crochet no increases or decreases for row 7 to 11 your next five rows okay I finished my last round so now we're going to start our decreases to shape you know to close off the little head remember the head and the arms are the same for all of the little blankie um, security blankies the only one that's different the arms are the little owl because it's got little wings so here now I'm going to start doing my decreases so here for my first stitch let me see if I can get closer so you guys can see when I take out my stitch marker I'm going to do a decrease I'm going to work two single crochets together uh, for the first two so I'm going to put my hook in there that's my first stitch without pulling through I'm going to go to my next one pull out there's three loops I'm going to go through all of them that's my first decrease so I'm going to do one decrease followed by um, one single crochet in each of the next four chains our next four stitches I guess I should say so it's just one two three and four okay so that's the end of our pattern here so now the pattern repeats all the way around so once again go into my next stitch pull out don't pull through yet go into the next now I have three pull through both of those that's my decrease working two single crochets together sometimes if you see it written it'll say SC2 and then TOG which means single crochet two together that's what we just did then we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next four chains okay Let's see here one two three and four and I'm going to repeat that all the way around so I want you to do that your first stitch the first two stitches are a decrease and then uh, so you work two single crochets together and then followed by one single crochet in each of the next four and then you repeat the pattern all the way around so go ahead and do that I'll finish this row and then I'll come back and we'll do the okay, next row okay I finished row. my last um, single crochet your last pattern here will have a double crochet and you'll only have space for two single crochets instead of four that's okay so now we're going to move to our next row here once again we're going to do a decrease over the first two Okay, and let me put my stitch marker back on there so I don't lose my place. And in this row, oops, here, if I could get, oop, hang on a second. Okay, I can't see because the camera's in the way. Okay, and now here I'm going to follow it by one single crochet in each of the next three, and that's going to be the new pattern. So here's one, 
two, and three. Okay, once I have three, I'm going to do another decrease. So over the next two, go in there, pull it out without going through, go to the next one. Now there's three on your hook and pull through those three. So that's your, your decrease and then going to go one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet. Okay, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to do a decrease now and continue my pattern. So it's one decrease followed by one single crochet in the next three. So go ahead and finish that. Remember at the end you may not have enough, but that's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> 